welcome y'all from this little mini vlog today. We are here at Scara Summerland. And as you see right behind me is Trident, the SNS Free Fly and the world only SNS Free Fly. That's the main reason why we're here at this park. We are driving to Copenhagen as we speak to hit up some of the parks down there. And this park was literally five minutes off the road. So we figured why not stop here, get a ride on Trident and the two other roller coasters they have here. But yeah, this is literally the world's only version of this coaster and it looks like no other will get built. So it might be the only one ever to exist. It looks really bizarre. I'm excited to get a ride in. Let's go. Okay, uh, this should be interesting. Literally all that's holding me in is the seatbelt. Oh, I feel like that, I don't know how to describe that thing. Oh, dear God. That is weird. Very, very weird. It, uh, each side is very different, I'll say that. The left side, yes. The left side, it, it drops a lot more. So you, it feels like a frog hopper almost, because you'll be going for a turn and the next thing the whole train just like drops and then swings to the side. And then the other side, get more of the swinging mode or no the other side you get it's more graceful but when you hit like a turnaround it's very intense so you get more positive forces whereas the other side you get more negative forces it's very very different on how they ride the swinging is very unique it's a very cool concept I'm not gonna lie I, I just say it's way too short so you don't really have time to appreciate it in a way I can see why it's the only one in the world because it's a ride that I don't see fitting at a lot of parks for one with the capacity and just the weird design, but I feel like if they built a bigger, taller, longer one, it would be a lot better. And I think improve the track design a bit, improve the trains a little bit. It has great potential, but at, I mean, I don't know how old this ride is, but I know it's old. So the odds of another one opening seem very slim. And it's just a very, very odd model that, yeah, it's just absolutely bizarre. You really got to ride it for yourself. It's hard to describe. All right, I don't really know what this is called, but it's called Snake, and I know it's made by Funtime. So we'll call it the Funtime Snake. That was really, really good. For a flat ride, it was just super unique. It was very intense, and then when it wasn't, it was like you just felt the speed of like going into every flip. It's just such a weird contraption. I don't even know how to describe it, but it's, it's not like your average Vomitron. It's very different. It's really, really unique, really, really good. That was definitely a big surprise. And also located probably the best right here at Scarlet Summerland. Um, just did the Mauer Spinner. I have loved the Mauer Spinners we've done on this trip, except that one. That one was, just, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be nice about that one. That was really bad. Uh, I don't like wild mouses in general. I hate spinning wild mouses. And even with the Mauer car on the spinning wild mouses. They're still horrible. That was not good. It, it just jacked you up. Um, the track was smooth, but the movement was not. That was really about it. It just, uh, I'm glad that's the only wild mouse layout of that in the world. Okay, so this is a queue line for a power coaster. The no music makes it creepy. What on earth is that? <laughs>
right, uh, Powered Coaster, Groove Bonin. That was Powered Coaster. Uh, it's only the second one we've done, and it's not as good as one at Hyde Park, but it's cute. I like the little tunnel section. It had some statue in it, queue line as well. Uh, I mean, yeah, just a great little ride. Perfect for this park, honestly. This definitely is a family-oriented park walk around it. Lots of families, lots of little kids. The kid area takes up half the park. So for this reason, it's definitely the perfect attraction for it. So Scar Summerland was nice to give us tickets to the go-karts. And I'm not gonna lie, I was very surprised because looking off right, I was like, yeah, these probably aren't gonna be that special. You know, those had some cake and they're actually really, really good go-karts. I was fairly surprised by how fun that was. We had some great power, some great things, and um, we both spun out twice, but Scott beat me literally at the last second. It was awesome. Yeah, I was trying to power shift. I had such a lead on everybody. I was like, I'm just gonna have fun this lap, but I just lost it. That's it. I, I had the lead at the start, and then I lost it on the first <laughs> If you're in the area, definitely pop on by. All right, that's gonna do it for our day here at Scar Summerland. Like we said, it was just a quick pit stop to uh, get on the coasters, ride Trennan, and uh, and the Connor way from our drive from Gothenburg to Copenhagen. So yeah, I mean, honestly, it's a nice little family park. If you are driving from Gothenburg to Copenhagen, do the exact same thing or vice versa. Stop here. It's a nice little park. Trennan is very unique. It's very good. I love Snake. I love the go karts. Um, it's just a cute little park. I definitely would love to see this park get one more major attraction. I think that'd be perfect for this park, but um, I would highly recommend stopping here at Scar or something. It's definitely a very cute little park. Really nice, really beautiful overall. It's really, really cute here. I love it. So that'll do it for this video. We'll see you guys next over in Bakken in Copenhagen, Denmark. Very excited for that park. So we'll see you guys there. Don't forget to follow the thrill.